it is a new era. It is a new time. What we got from One Piece chapter 1043 has changed One Piece. Now, I know what you're thinking. One Piece, why would One Piece change? How could One Piece ever change? Where are you going with this? So let's 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 gather up the facts of what we know about One Piece for the most part. For the most part, One Piece, yes, is a shonen series. Yes, One Piece has a lot of shonen elements, but for the most part, One Piece has kind of been different than its contemporaries with the one, the volume of chapters, two, the vast amount of foreshadowing, the vast amount of theory making, the vast community that we have. The way Oda writes his story is has it takes similarities from things like Naruto, Bleach, and Toriko, but for the most part, One Piece is kind of a standalone manga. It's kind of very different. We don't really have a lot of the same old, you know, friendship power-ups and you know, just when you think about what you see from Naruto and Bleach, for the most part, people tend to separate One Piece from it. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of examples that you can highlight where, okay, Luffy shouldn't have won that fight. He got a random friendship power for the most part. Like, they don't happen often in One Piece, to my knowledge. You can correct me if I'm wrong. But for the most part, we would say One Piece is not like your typical shonen. It's very unique. But what we got from the Joy Boy reveal, I think, has now turned one piece back in that direction now before you start screaming before you get scared that's not a bad thing it's not a bad thing so let's let's calm down what i'm saying is is that we can confirm luffy died and i don't care what you think about luffy not dying he's not dead when you pay attention to momonosuke and how he mentioned luffy's voice and how sometimes luffy's vo voice is faint or Momonosuke can still hear Luffy's voice while he's underwater and unconscious with his devil fruit being affected by the water. He can still hear Luffy's voice. Momo said, Luffy's voice is gone. Law said, Luffy's voice is gone. He died, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you, but he died. And the fact that you hear the sound effects in the viz and the scans, it's a clear sound of his heart beating again. We've seen examples of it on multiple occasions. NL is the perfect example. Enel died. Wiper killed Enel. He killed him. This man recharged his heart. You know when people die on the on the hospital bed, they die for like a minute, they die for like three seconds. It happens, they're resuscitated, boom, they're alive. Luffy died. Kaido killed Luffy. And his body is being resuscitated by joy boy and what's happening is joy boy is coming out within him now there's a lot of theories there's a lot to discuss on what joy boy is where it's coming from is it awakening is it a host thing is it reincarnation there's so many different things that we need to figure out but let's not go down that rabbit hole because there is millions of nika videos and joy boy videos out there i'm sure you can find them on ohara's channel brago's channel morja's channel everyone's channel you guys know I'm not a theorist, so I'm not going to bore you with the details, even though you guys are very excited. I can give you my thoughts on what I think it could be, but don't expect me to dig deep and, and come up with foreshadowing from 29,000 chapters again. It's not going to happen. What I'm trying to tell y'all is Luffy died. Luffy has reincarnated. We are now in that realm. So now we're in that realm, and I don't think it's bad. I'm happy about it, because if there's a way to reveal Joy Boy, this is interesting. And the reason I find it interesting is because... We've all wondered, one, who Joy Boy is, what Joy Boy is, and how would he come about? So he's coming about within Luffy. We see the slimy, whatever aura, maybe he's people say he's melting, you know, we see smoke coming out of his mouth, you see the smile, Zunisha's like, oh my God, the sound of the drums, everything. What I think is happening ties into my theory about Blackbeard and Zebek. Again, I've mentioned this so many different times. Shanks learn the world's most dangerous secret if you don't understand what i'm talking about watch that video i believe that joy boy is a hosting mechanism i guess i don't know the right term but he goes around and he hosts different people that's why kaido said so you couldn't become joy boy it's not a case that luffy was born as joy boy i don't think that's the case at all i think it's the case that there are certain criteria you have to fill and a certain life you have to lead or maybe it's a certain fruit you have to eat to become Joy Boy. And I think the key to becoming Joy Boy or being for him to allow for him to host your body, you have to die. Now, again, this is a theory. You know, this is headcanon. There's no there's no basis behind this. I'm just spitballing here. Think about Blackbeard and Zebek. What if it's a case where Blackbeard died? when he was young 
and Zebek was able to host his body to the point where now we're going to have, an, uh, and this is what I think is going to happen with Luffy as well. We're going to have a host and actual human being relationship between Joe Boy and Luffy where they're going to go back and forth because I think it's within Luffy's character to say, man, get out of my body, bro. Like, why? I want to be me. Because that's within Luffy's character. Wouldn't it be funny to see Luffy beef with Joy Boy? That's funny. That humor could, Oda could go so many different directions with that one. Again, it's very similar to what we've seen in the past. You know, you got Hollow Ichigo, um, Naruto and the Nine Tails. This is why I'm saying we're kind of going into the shonen direction. But again, these things aren't bad. We love Kurama. I love Hollow Ichigo. So they're not bad. And don't be ashamed to be compared to those series. But stay with me here because. The reason we think Blackbeard can't sleep is because there's probably another entity within his body keeping him up. What if it's the case that Joy Boy is now within Luffy's body? Luffy is a Joy Boy host. All of a sudden, Luffy can't sleep anymore. All of a sudden, people, maybe that's how Oda foreshadows what's going on with Blackbeard. Like, Blackbeard can't sleep. Luffy can't sleep. What's going on here? All of a sudden, Zoro's like, yo, there's two of them in Luffy. There's more than one person in you. What's going on here? There's two voices in Luffy's body. If Oda does that, and we set up a host versus host clash, one, that would give crazy clout to Zebek. I don't know, again, the why Zebek would be that host is interesting to me. Again, that's just my theory. Again, I, there's so much tying into Blackbeard and Zebek. And just, again, if you want to know, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to explain this video to you. I need you to watch that video to understand what I'm alluding to here. Because if you get Blackbeard and Zebek, versus Joy Boy and Luffy as the final battle, I'd be excited about that. I'd be more than excited about that because then it ties in that Joy Boy wants to save the world. Luffy's like, I just want to find the One Piece. Don't tell me what to do. I don't care about the world. I really don't. I just want to find treasure. I want to eat meat and free my niggas. And that's it. <laughs> so that is a way Luffy could stay Luffy, but also Joy Boy pushed Luffy towards the end goal of Emu. We got to go get Emu. We got to stop Blackbeard. Luffy, what are you doing? And Luffy's like, leave me alone. Like, that is, it, to me, that is one way that Oda can execute this. And it just makes sense to me. It fits within the story. And we also get to progress the plot because now we have a conduit in Joy Boy to reveal the Void Century. To reveal all kinds of different things because Joy Boy will be talking to Luffy the entire time. Like, bro, this is what happened. I need you to do this. I don't like what happened here. Maybe you can show, maybe you can say, this is what's going to happen to Shirahoshi if we don't do something. This is what's going to happen to Vivi if we don't do something. And then that will give Luffy the reason to actually listen to Joy Boy. But maybe Oda will take some time to actually give Luffy the reasoning to challenge the world government. Because right now, Luffy don't care. He doesn't. And I don't think Luffy wants to be a hero. That's not something Luffy's wanted ever. He even says it himself. I'm not a hero. Don't make me out to be a hero. I do what I want and I eat and I discover and I want the one piece. Now, Joy Boy again, Joy Boy would reveal, oh, I know what a one piece is. I know what it is. Luffy's going to cuss Joy Boy out. Like, if you tell me what the one piece is, I will hurt you. I will go inside my body, kill myself and kill you and everyone will lose. The girls say, will win. I, can you imagine? Can you imagine Luffy threatening Joy Boy saying, if you tell me what the one piece is, I'll ruin everything. I'll do it. It's just, it's within Luffy's character. I feel like this is just, there's so many possibilities, but I'm sharing with you guys my hopes for what comes out of this. Now, it could be completely different and we go in a completely different direction, but I'm really banking on this Joy Boy host thing. Now, a lot of people say it's definitely an awakened devil fruit, or maybe Joy Boy resided within the Gomu Gomu no Mi and we never knew what the actual name of it was. And again, the Sun Wukong, ancient mythical Zoan, there's so many things that could go with it, but the point is, is that whatever happens, it has to be executed correctly. It has to be. Because Oda has, he shifted the series. The series has shifted. We're going, now we're in Endgame completely. There's no way we're not. We can't go back anymore. There's no more dilly-dallying that's going on. We're in pure Endgame territory here. So the next couple of chapters are going to be absolutely gigantic. Next chapter is going to be huge. And if Oda, Oda, I swear on everything, if you steer away from this, I'm getting a ticket to Japan. I'm going to write a strongly worded email to everyone you're involved with, including your editor, and say, go back. Show us what happened. Because you know Oda. You know him. He goes on a break. Let's just run around in circles and scream just like he did with gear four <laughs> and 
then all of a sudden it's like, ah, well, you know, let's see what's going on in the other world. Now imagine, this is the one exception I'll take. Imagine if Oda goes back to the reverie. He shows us what's going on with Sabo, Boa, and Vivi. I'm like, all right, you know what, Oda? You're slick, but I'm taking it. <laughs> I'm like, Oda, you're slick, but I'm going to take it. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. We take those. We ain't even mad at it. God, just so much to come. I mean, I just needed to share with you guys my thoughts. I know, I know I took some time making this video, but I needed to really let it settle in, get the ideas flowing in my brain, because there's so much to come from this. We still need to talk about Kaido, but I'll save that for another video. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you later. Take care. Yo, everybody. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe here to get the latest from the channel. Also, check out some other videos that might suit your specific tastes.